Abela residents have vowed to take back their streets from crime, gangsterism and drugs. The community policing forum there is calling for more boots on the ground as armed robberies and house breakings increase in the area. Here's Nancy P. Sami with the details. The community of Belha has vowed to rid the streets of crime and other social ills. A recent armed robbery claimed the life of 23-year-old university student Gamva Dasi. Residents say persistent power cuts are making the situation worse. There is a cry for, 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 for being escorted and then we try to patrol in the morning as well. That will be the hours of 4, say 5, 4 to 6 o'clock in the morning. That's the, that's the time where they target the, 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 the work, people that goes to work. Mm. And then, um, especially coming from the stairs, there most of it occurs. They wait for the people because the people get the transferred on that side of the road. There has been an increase in robberies, especially armed robberies, where people take advantage of the load shedding and then they rob the people on their way to work, especially on the way to work early mornings. The people live in fear. The community of Belha believes that the government can address some of its problems. What we are doing is to patrol the streets, uh, work with the police, work with the CPF, work with NGOs to calm down the situation. But the thing is, I, th I think all, all government, the community, um, social development, all the departments, the police, we all can try. Community members have held two marches to raise awareness about the issue. There are now calls for the community to work with law enforcement officials in the area. Without the community, CPF, no SAPs, will actually have a job to do. And it's the utmost important for the community that if they see something, to say something and not be a prisoner in their homes. We want the community to come together and unite as one. We want the community to take back the streets that actually belongs to them. The community needs to speak out. The community needs to speak up because that's the only way we're going to get rid of all the drug houses and all the crime that is actually taking place. Without the community, we're not going to get rid of it. Residents say they will breathe a sigh of relief when an additional police station earmarked for the area is built. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Nasipi Sameh in Belha.